with. Oh, there we go. Yes, we are here. Uh, go. So the big topic is Mean Girls. Huge, 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 huge opening for Mean Girls, which had a $30 million budget, which I'm pretty sure went mostly to Tina Fey because she wrote and produced this film. It didn't really have another other huge stars other than some past uh, Mean Girls cast members. I don't want to... Um, Spoil anything if you have not seen it. But a lot of people said they weren't hyped for this film, but it made $33 million domestically, the number one at the box office. It's not a runaway hit, but it definitely did well for itself. And the cinema scores aren't as good as, you know, some people would like. I think it was a B for a cinema score. But I think that the legs will hold under it. I'm going to be excited to see what the number is for how much it holds coming in the next week when we talk about Zach, to Zach Attack News Live. Okay, poll should be in the chat. You guys can vote. You guys should be seen in a live stream. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys think that the Mean Girls uh, 2024 remake will be over 40% drop, like it's going to drop over 40%. Not, a lot of people are not going to go rewatch it, or if it's going to be under 40%. Depends on the success and if it's going to have legs. Um, vote and while I do that, I am going to go to the next film and let's talk about Beekeeper, the new Jason Statham film. David uh, David Aver directed the guy who did the Suicide Squad. He did Fury. Um, he's done a couple other films that a lot of people like. Um, he's back with a new film after stop you know asking for the air cut of the Suicide Squad film to be. Uh, Talked about obviously this movie probably would have made more money if he would have talked about the beekeeper more than if he would have talked about Suicide Squad. But uh, the movie did well 16, 16, or actually 18 million over the three day weekend because they're counting this is a three day weekend. A lot of people are off on Monday, not me because my job is stupid. Um, so 18 million over the, the, the three day, four day weekend with Martin Luther King Day. Um, and I believe worldwide, where this movie is doing well. 21 million worldwide. So this budget for this film was 40 million. It's already almost made its budget back. And I think that's really good and a potential for a franchise for this for this film. You know, um, I think that I haven't gotten to check it out yet. Let me know if you got to check out Beekeeper in the chat. I know Kenny Kenny Sparks did. Um, and what you thought about it. I definitely want to check it out eventually. It seems like a movie I will check out with my mom. As you know, if you follow me on Twitter slash X, I always post uh, action movies with my mom. It's a little series I have on there where we review it together, kind of. <laughs> it's just kind of her one-word answers. Uh, but yeah, right now on the poll, it's split. 40% uh, of you guys think that it's going to drop over 40% in budget and under under 40%, I mean 40% uh, thinks it's not. So you guys are kind of split on it. Some of you guys think it's going to stay. Some of you think it's going to do not too well. And people are not going to do repeat viewings. Very, very interesting. Wonka, which is what I really wanted to talk about. Um, I'm so happy for this movie. I'm not a huge fan of musicals, but look, Mean Girls, I really loved. As you can see, you can check out my review on my channel. Um, and Wonka, which I really, really loved as well. Both musicals. Both surprises. I did not know Wonka was a musical going in. I knew Mean Girls was a musical going in, but a lot of people didn't. There's videos of audible groans when people start singing. But uh, I'm so happy for this film. It made $178 million uh, domestically, I believe. Um, you know, doing $11 million this week. And I'm so happy for it uh, being such a huge, huge film. It was such a great film. Um, and I hopefully they, they greenlit a sequel. I would love to see the continuation of this story. Migration uh, is did eight million, not too bad. Eighty-eight million in total. The budget was seventy-seven, so it just got over its budget, but that's not including advertising and marketing and things like that. But it, it wasn't advertising and market super heavy. Um, I think that it how it has legs. I think it has really good audience scores. I think the kids love it, and I think it's gonna end up being a movie that stays in the top 10 for a little while and do really, really well. For the rest of it, anyone but you continues to do good. There was a report that it was going to be going on uh, rental for this month, but uh, 
who is it? Is it Sony that owns this? Columbia, which is Sony, uh, said that that is not happening because it's currently at 56 million um, domestically and it's doing good. Uh, the Sydney Sweeney Glenn Powell romantic comedy, I guess, it's doing really, really well. And I'm happy for it because we don't get a lot of romantic comedies in theaters. So I'm happy to see one doing so well. And it, you just need to have the proven talent. I thought the marketing for this movie was terrible, but people went to go see because these two stars and it, it's it's doing really well. Surprisingly, coming at number six is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Um, you know, not holding really great. It's at six million, but it made 109 million already. It's made a bunch of money overseas um, already, which is insane. And yeah, Jason Moe is an oversee pull, and it's going to be really interesting to see if he comes back as Lobo in the new DCEU. But Aquaman and Lost Kingdom, doing better than uh, uh, the Marvels, at least. Night Swim um, is coming in. It dropped a couple spots already. It's coming at number seven. It made $5 million. It's at, at $20 million right now. And I think, I'm going to look at it right now, Night Swim budget was 15 million so it already went past his budget you know don't get account for marketing as well um but i think it might have it might hold it might have some legs um it might not be out of the realm yet it's not a runaway hit like a lot of um universal blumhouse movies are but it's not a total failure the boys in the boat uh the george clooney uh kind of histor biopic historical movie about a swimming not swimming team but a, a rowing team uh is doing pretty well for a movie that no one is talking about it, uh let's see budget for this film is 40 million and right now it's done 40 million so it's already matches budget um it hasn't uh been advertised super heavy so i think that this movie is going to do good and have legs it's one of those films that is feel good i think a lot of people is going to find it later on because when i tell you when we get to the end of the stream when we talk about what's coming next these next couple of weeks are a little barren when it comes to big releases so a lot of these movies that didn't make a lot of money may make some more money because there's not a lot of competition Unfortunately, a movie that I'm really excited for, but I just haven't gotten to check out, and a lot of people apparently did not. The Book of Clarence, only a $3 million opening, not good at all because the movie had a $40 million budget, and it's probably going to drop real heavy going into the next week. Unfortunately, I haven't heard amazing reviews for this film. Uh, very mixed, mixed reviews. Some people love it. Some people think it's mid. Some people hate it. Um, so unfortunately, Book of Clarence, another black led film that didn't get a lot of, it's not getting a lot of shine that unfortunately myself didn't get to even get checked out. I went to go see Mean Girls. <laughs> um, is not doing well. And we're going to talk about Lakeith Stanfield a little later. But I think Lakeith Stanfield is a wonderful actor. I think a lot of the actors in this film are fantastic and are great. And I want to see them in more films. And this director is really, really clever director from when I saw him do the Netflix film, They Harder They Fall. I really want to go check this film out. I'm going to see if I can see it in theaters just to support it. I'm making an a, a effort to support more black film um, in 2024. That is my goal and talk about them on my channel. And uh, hopefully the book clearance is not bad. I had a friend that told me it was boring, but then I had a, a YouTuber that I trust, who usually in this live chat, say that it was great. So, you know. I'm excited for that. And then the rest of the is, is just a couple films that been here for a while. Iron Claw, not the runaway hit, only $29 million. I don't think it had a big budget from A24. Usually the films are not super big in terms of the budget. Yeah, 15.9 mil. Uh, it did double, basically did double the budget. So it, it did well. But it just didn't go crazy like a lot of A24 films might. The Color Purple, not doing great. Dropping out of the top 10 already. And it's already on PVOD, which we'll talk about later, where you can rent it and watch it at home. Yeah, this is one of those films. I want to go support this, even though I didn't want to watch it because I want to support more black film. Not a fan. And it has very, very mixed reviews. And it's not getting a lot of award fare. I do think Daniel Brooks deserves a nomination for this. 
film. I think she was phenomenal in the film. She, even though, as a supporting actress, I know that she's been nominated for some stuff. I hope she gets some wins soon. Uh, we're going to be talking about Critic Choice in a minute. American Fiction, another movie I loved. Um, another film, black film that, you know, just didn't hit the cultural uh, zeitgeist, unfortunately. And I think it came out at a bad time. But the budget for this film was only 1.8 million. Um, so it's already made five. So to me, that's a success. It's only in 625 theaters. So it's not like it has a super wide release either. Um, so I think this is a success for this. It's a very small film. And I think American fiction is phenomenal. Uh, poor things, um, added theaters, but it's not finding, uh, a, uh, you know, a bunch of people to watch it and love it. I know it's a weird film, but I thought the film bros would come out. It only, it's a budget of $35 million, which is pretty expensive. It's only made 17. So the award wins that it's getting is going to be the award for it. Not really the budget. It's not catching on. Boy and the Heron is doing really well internationally. It's doing okay uh, domestically. Godzilla minus one is a runaway hit for the size of his budget. 10 million, 10 to $15 million budget. 50 million domestically. It's made a lot of money worldwide. Ferrari is not doing great. Hunger Games was a success. Doesn't matter that it's at 17 at this point. And then Soul. We were talking about this in a stream about people going to check out uh, these Disney re-releases. While it's not like as high as some re-releases are, because this had a lot of theaters, only half a million dollars. That's a half a million dollars Sony wouldn't have had if they didn't ever released it. So I guess that's a plus that you can take from that. Um, but it's not like a lot of recent re-releases would make like a million dollars. Um, so maybe, I don't know if it was a one time in the weekend or if it's going to be continuing, but I'm happy for the film. I know some people seen it for the first time in theaters. It's a gorgeous film and one of my favorite Pixar films. So I'm happy for that. And somehow Oppenheimer is still making money. <laughs> and a lot of people who ask me about Zone of Interest, uh, that is actually going wide this weekend. It's officially coming out this weekend. I don't know if they're going to count it as a 2024 film because it's supposed to be getting nominated for this year award season, but it's going wide this season. It's already made a million dollars with a slow release from A24. It's going to go wide. We'll see how well it does once it goes wide with all the, the talk about it. And then the rest of the film is Memory, which is a low-budget film that came out. I heard it was good. Holdovers, Napoleon, which actually did well. Uh, Freud Last Session, Anatomy of Fall, Falling Leaves, and a bunch of other smaller films that's been out. Thanksgiving is still around here. But um, yeah, that is the box office talk. Let's see what the live chat has to say before I do that real quick. Yeah, I just want to make sure I have the two buttons set. Uh, let's see. Woo! Okay, you guys are in the chat are talking. Uh, let's see. Collect the movie, man. Hey, Zach, if I have... A, a, if I have any interesting news articles, I want you to talk about. Can I send them to you on Instagram, or do they have to be sent? No, no, yeah. If you if you have me on my social media, which is on Instagram, uh, Twitter slash X, you can definitely send them to me there. I just wanted to have a centralized place that's not going to be cluttered for me to just go and check. That's why I said you could email it to me. But if you want to share something real quick and send it to me on Instagram, that's perfectly fine. I guess I contributed to the box office success of Mean Girls. Yes, you did. If you want to go see it. I've seen Be Beekeeper. I felt stung by its terrible writing. <laughs> oh, God. I think Mean Girls will have a big drop, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay. I cannot wait to see Wonka. I cannot wait for you to see Wonka. Such a great film. I really want to see Beekeeper. I think I'm going to wait for it to get to um, rental, and I'll, I'll rent it. Mean Girls did not need to be a musical. Well, it's based on the musical, uh, Jen. It's not based off the original 2004 film. So that's why. And the lead actress was in the musical as well. Hey, Della Movies, beloved channel member. Thank you for being in the live stream. How are you doing? I've literally never heard of anyone but you, and I'm a cinephile. Terrible marketing indeed. That's crazy. You haven't seen the marketing for that Sydney Sweeney Glenn Powell flick? I kept hearing about it. They were talking about how them two might be actually dating. She's cheating on her fiance and all this other stuff. And then the trailers look, look terrible. But I, I saw it all the time. Nice Swim had it had to have a cast as the same as a jumbo Snickers. <laughs> Facts. <It's, laughs> that's true. I saw the book of clearance, but it was so cold in the theater I couldn't concentrate. Oh damn, that sucks. 
I also wanted to check out Book of Clarence, but I didn't get a chance to. Me too. Another movie that doesn't need to be a, a, a musical. You're talking about Wonka. I love Wonka being a musical, so can't 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 uh, agree with you on there, man. After seeing American Fiction, that budget is totally believable. Yeah, they didn't really pay those actors a lot at all. The original Color Purple did fantastic when it came out. Yeah, for the time, and it was you know kind of the first of that film. I had never saw the original, so I can't really talk about it in terms of like how fantastic it did, but I'm pretty sure it did. I can understand Broadway shows turning movies into musicals because a green general public that see live theater prefer musicals. How are we making them into musicals so unnecessary? Well, it's not unnecessary because the movie made $30 million. <laughs> and Walker made 168. So they're doing well overall. Like, obviously, Color Purple didn't do great. But I, I think Color Purple is not as good as these two films. And The Dicks, the musical, didn't do well. But that movie, I didn't really know who it was marketed to. And I'm going to check it out when it gets on streaming because I love A24. But yeah, they're doing well. The OG Mean Girls was not a musical and it was wonderful. Yes, that's true. The OG Mu Mean Girls was not a musical and it's a cl classic. But then they made a musical out of Mean Girls and they made a movie based on that musical. See how that goes? What are your thoughts on The Beekeeper? I have no thoughts on The Beekeeper because I have not seen it yet. I'm definitely going to check out Wonka, even though I'm not a big fan of the original because the Oompa Loompa scares me. Well, I can tell you this. Spoiler alert or slight spoiler alert. There's only one Oompa Loompa in the movie, and he's not in the movie a lot. So I keep seeing that I don't enjoy musicals, but I enjoy every musical I've seen recently. <laughs> I've said the same thing. Well, other than Color Purple. I say the same thing. You know who Dix was marketed to? <laughs> I have Saturday off. Okay. Um, let's see. So the live chat said, "What do you?" I'm going back to the poll. Um, what do you think of the weekly drop for Mean Girls will be? Fifty-seven percent of you guys said forty. Over forty percent will drop. So you think it's going to have a huge drop? Forty-three percent of you guys think it's going to be um, less than that. So pretty good poll. Uh, pretty good results. Seven votes. Appreciate you guys voting. Uh, let's check out the next topic, which we're going to be talking about. 